All right, I want to continue the series on my house will be a house of prayer. And uh, I actually was in Minnesota last week when I videoed the last one and it was snowing. So here we are, Conway Springs, and it's snowing. So uh, for this particular one, I, uh, I want to build on the last one. And this is in the series of phrases and questions Jesus asked. In this case, Jesus quoting from Isaiah 56, that my house will be a house of prayer. And so often we think of that where he's turning over tables with emotion. And a lot of people get stuck on, did Jesus you know, really do that without sinning? And I don't want to focus on Jesus like not sinning and on Jesus not uh, like his righteous anger, etc. I want to focus more on the questions that I left you with. And that was, how does your church, like the house, the church, um, how are you doing in prayer? And then I want to go to Psalm 127. I believe that's it. If not, you can correct me in the in the comments below if you're watching this on YouTube. Psalm 127 says, unless the Lord builds the house, the labors labor in vain. And my understanding, and this is focusing on the, the institutions that God's created, and that would be the smallest institution would be the family. So unless the Lord builds the family, the family labors in vain. The next one would be the institution of the church. Unless the Lord builds the church, the labors labor in vain. And then the government, unless the Lord builds and grows and protects the government, then you labor in vain. And so I'd like to particularly just come back and talk about the family and also the church. And if you're like me, um, it's hard to pray with family members, whether it's a spouse or a sibling or a child. It's like not real easy. And then think of the church and the way the church prays, it's hard. And so as I've wrestled with this over the years, I'm saying, Lord, how can you help me understand your heart behind this concept of my house will be a house of prayer? And I really believe, at least for this encouragement piece, believe that God's prompting me to, to say, you know, pray the Psalms. Like it's a prayer book that God gave us to pray back to him. So we can pray the Psalms with a spouse or with a child. Uh, they can pray it and we can pray it on the same day, even if we're not together, or you can do it through technology. But the idea would be to, to pray truth and then to realize that there is a spiritual battle that would come against this concept of relational praying the truth. And so for today, the main focus of my house will be a house of prayer is really focusing on doing it in relationship with human beings and with God in relationship, like a healthy, high trust relationship, and then praying truth. So God bless you on this snowy February day.